Okay. All right. Today we're reading Harry Allard's Miss Nelson Has a Field Day by James Marshall, and this was a request by Buggy Sue for Oi. Are you saying that right? I think so. They, uh, they've watched my channel for a long time. They're very kind commenters. All right. For some weeks now... Oh, also, uh, we have... Ash Jr. Ash Jr. here. All right. For some weeks now, Gloom had blanketed the Horace B. Smelly School. No one laughed or threw spitballs. No one even smiled. Miss Nelson was worried. Everyone was down in the dumps. And this says, hamburgers again today. Even the cafeterias had lost their sparkle. Mr. Blaine, what was that? I wouldn't like that school. No, you don't want hamburgers every day? No. No. Mr. Blansworth was so depressed, he hid under his desk. Nah, it's the worst team in the whole state, he said. And it was true. The smelly tornadoes were just pitiful. They hadn't won a game all year. They hadn't even scored a single point. And lately, they seemed only interested in horsing around and giving coach the business. Why practice, they said. We'll only lose anyway. Practice Ugh. makes better. Practice makes better, that's right. Uh, we're in for it now, said old Pop Hansen, the janitor. The big Thanksgiving game is coming up, and the werewolves from Central are uh, real animals. They'll make mincemeat out of our team. Hmm. What's to be done, said Miss Nelson. Oh, we need a, a real expert, said Pop. That afternoon, while Miss Nelson was grading papers, she heard wild laughter. It was coming from the teacher's lounge. Coach Armstrong had cracked up. Hmm, I'll make us a fresh pot of coffee, said Mrs. Nelson. Or Miss Nelson. And this is National Be Kind to Teachers Day, and that's on February 19th. I think we missed that. Me too. Well, we'll have to remember next year. When Coach had calmed down, Miss Nelson took him home in a taxi. You need a nice, long rest, she said. The next day it was announced over the PA that Coach Armstrong would be out for a long time with the measles. Who will take his place, said the kids. When Miss Nelson passed by Lulu's after school, a Lulu's? Yeah, see, Lulu's. A serious discussion was going on. We need someone who can really get the team into shape for the big Thanksgiving game, said one kid. Someone who knows how to get results. It's too bad Miss Viola Swamp isn't around, said another kid. Who? said a kid who was new in town. You've never heard of Viola Swamp, said the first kid. The meanest substitute in the whole wide world. She's a real witch. I don't think they know that witches are real. <laughs> I think you're right. She'd have no trouble getting results. Mr. Blandsworth happened to overhear. Hmm, he said. Yes, Mr. Blandsworth. Like oh, yeah, you're right. Chair. He's hidden. Good catch. Hmm, said Mrs. Nelson, and she wasted no time getting home. After rummaging around in her closet, she found what she was looking for, an ugly black sweatsuit. Then she made an important phone call. I'll be right there, said the voice on the other end. The next Wait. day, Mr. Wait. Blandsworth announced that there would be football practice as usual. What's your question? Was she calling Miss Viola Swamp or something? Because we think Miss Viola Swamp is who? Miss Nelson, right? Yeah, we think it's Miss Nelson. I don't know. We'll have to see what happens. Whoever it is, said the guys, it's, let's really give them the business. <laughs> the doors to the coach's office flew open and out stepped... A lady in an ugly black dress. My name is Viola Swamp, said the lady, and I'm here to get results. 
It's Bladesworth, cried the guys, and they laughed him off the field. That does not look like Miss Violet's wall. It doesn't. Oh, rats, said Blandsworth. How could they tell? Just then, the guys heard the sound of squeaky tennis shoes. <gasps> I'm Coach Swamp, said the lady in the black sweatsuit. It says, Coach, and don't you forget it. Holy smokes, cried the team, and they swamp. The team's first, the team's fullback tried to pussyfoot away. Not so fast, Mr. Smarty, cried Coach Swamp. Wow, said one of the guys. Did you see the tackle? Wow, she really knows her stuff. She does. Coach Swamp was a real expert. She put the team to work right away. The guys had never done so many leg raises. More, said Coach Swamp. They'd never run so fast. Faster, yelled Coach Swamp. This is mine, said the guys. Pipe down, said Coach Swamp. In only a matter of days, the smelly tornadoes were looking better. Coach Swamp really gave them the business. Mr. Blandsworth was a little puzzled, however. Hmm, who is, uh, who's that Miss Swamp, he said. Maybe Miss Nelson knows. I'll go ask. Mrs. Nelson was busy grading papers when Blandsworth looked in. Hmm, I don't want to disturb her, said Mr. Blandsworth. She probably doesn't eat, know anyways. Down on the field, Coach Swamp was having a little talk with the team. And don't ever think you can horse around again, oh she my. said, because the swamp will be watching. What's up? What? Okay. You don't understand how they're, well, maybe we're wrong. Yeah. We, we could be wrong. When Coach Armstrong returned after his rest, he was very surprised by what he found. The guys played like a real team. Oh, how did this happen? Said Coach Armstrong. <laughs> said the guy. Oh, see, said the guys. Look, there's Miss Nelson and there's Miss Swamp. So they might be different people. Yes, they might. On Thanksgiving Day, the tornadoes clobbered the werewolf 77 to 3. It was a great day for Horace B. Smeldley School. And this says, what do you think it says? Go team! That's right, go team. Good job. Mr. Blandsworth treated the whole team to hot dogs at Lulu's. Miss Nelson went home tired and happy. Ha! Huh. Sometimes you just have to get tough, she told her sister, Barbara. And by the way, thanks for filling in for me. Anytime.